there's a lot of talk on the forums about this new strategy rent to rent where you sublet a property from a landlord turn it into an HMO and cream off the difference either you know multi-let HMO what is your view on that because to me um, it seems that people are not setting these uh, arrangements up in a legal format I think many people are getting involved just don't realize what they're doing I mean uh, if you rent your property out in that way most people think it's a residential tenancy it's not it's mm -hmm. a commercial tenancy therefore your tenant actually has rights to stay there and have his tenancy automatically renewed under the landlord and tenant act 1954 mm -hmm. uh, if it's a commercial tenancy it may well be treated as having commercial a commercial property by the local authority mm -hmm. they may change the planning status they may start looking at the council tax you're paying on it um, if the person you rent it to doesn't know that much then they probably don't know enough about the HMO regulations if they flout them then you could still be prosecuted if it's your own property because you're ultimately receiving the rent and local authorities will go after you um, and, and the whole thing is very very dangerous indeed you uh, I've, I see lots of people who do are doing it I see pe I've been approached by people in the middle who, to select their contracts properly but uh, it, it's it's an attractive position for landlords who, who get to hold no void periods and they see they see easy money every week but at the end of the day if you want to run your house properly you need to run your own house um, and you shouldn't trust someone else in that way to take total control of your property. That's brilliant. Thank you, David. Where can we find out more about you? Have you got a website? Or? Yep, I work for Anthony Gold Solicitors uh -huh. and uh, I'm all over their website, I find, in all kinds of exciting ways and you can get my profile there and you can contact me through that as well.